Hello everyone. Today's experiment is empirical formulae. We are going to use magnesium for our reaction. We are skipping the reaction with sulfur. Let's get started with reacting magnesium in a crucible. I'm going to connect the tubing to the gas line, which is blue in this hood, and then connect this with my Bunsen burner. And I'm going to clamp a ring stand. Place it underneath and I'm going to put a clay triangle on top. That's my crucible with the lid. I'm going to place it on the clay triangle. So I'll cover it and then turn on the... Make sure to have a blue flame. I will let the empty crucible heat for about five minutes and then cool it down and get the empty mass of the crucible with the lid. We'll turn off the gas and let the crucible cool down before we can weigh it out. The magnesium ribbon is a little longer than the ruler. This should be a good length for the reaction. So if you take a close look, the magnesium has a gray coating on top, which is the oxide coating. I will clean this with a steel wool. And you can see clearly the gray coating is removed and, it's, and the magnesium is a nice shiny metal. So now I'm going to coil this to make a small piece. So that's my coil magnesium ribbon. So I'll check if it's cooled down. So feel it gently, so it's, it's cooled down. I'm going to take the crucible and the lid and weigh it empty. I'm going to tear the balance and put my crucible with the lid. So that's the mass. I'm going to add the coil magnesium ribbon. So I'm going to place my crucible with the magnesium ribbon and the lid and keep it partially open like this and place it on the clay triangle. I'm going to adjust the height of the ring clamp so the heating could be strong. I'm going to strike my burner. I'm going to adjust the height of the flame and then place it underneath. So if you see the tip of the inner cone should be close to the bottom of the crucible so the heating is strong. So now I'm going to let it heat for about 10 minutes. So it has sparked. I'm going to remove the flame and cover the lid. Again, I'm going to open the lid. I'm going to keep the lid partially open just like this and then heat it for another five minutes. I will let it cool for about 10 minutes and then add about 10 drops of water and then heat it again. So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to add 10 drops of DI water using a pipette. So now I'm going to put the lid back and then start heating for another 10 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes. The crucible must have been cooled down. Now we are going to go ahead and weigh it in the balance. Tear the balance. To the reaction, the product looks like this. We'll dispose this in our labeled waste container.